Okay, today we're going to look at how to do some cross tabulations in SPSS. This is an introduction. Next week we'll do a little bit more with computing some statistics that tell us if, if we have a statistically significant difference somewhere in the cross tab. But today, just your basic cross tab with percentages. So to start off, we come to analyze right here, our old friend. Under descriptive statistics, that's where you're going to find cross tabs. So analyze, descriptive statistics, cross tabs. We click on that right here on cross tabs. And now here's where we can put in some variables. And you see you have your row variable and your column variable. Here I've chosen the variable Hispanic for my columns. In this case, this is the independent variable. In this class, we'll put the independent variable in columns. That's how the book does it. Some people do it the other way around, put the independent in rows. But we'll always put the independent variable in columns just to stick with the book to hopefully avoid some confusion. So just to back this up, what you can do is just come over here, find your variable. If you know your variable name, what you can do is just start typing. So if I start typing HISP, it brings up my variable and I can arrow it over. Same thing here, my other variable is helpful. I could just type H-E-L-P. If it doesn't work, hit backspace a bunch of times. H-E-L-P-F-U-L, -L. backspace it. And there it is. So the backspace is very useful. Sometimes it seems like it's finding the wrong thing. That's just because you have entries in there that you have to clear out. So just hit backspace a bunch of times. If it doesn't work, do it even more. And you'll be cleared out and it should find your variable. So now we have our independent variable, Hispanic. Do you identify as Hispanic, yes or no? And helpful. this helpful variable asks if you view other people as mostly helpful, yes, no, or there are a bunch of categories. So for now, just click on OK, and if you do that, you're going to see that this is kind of incomplete. We have numbers. We have what we call counts in here, but it doesn't tell us much. If you think it does, put on the brakes for a minute and go back to the lesson module, because notice that those who identify uh, as not Hispanic, we have 1,400 of those, and those that identify as, um, in this case, we'll just look at this Mexican Chicano category. We have 167 people that identify as Mexican Chicano. So we're going to have more people in both categories. But if you just looked and said 703 not Hispanic view others as helpful and only 54 Mexican Chicano view other people as helpful, you can't do that because we have a lot more people in general that identify as not Hispanic. So if you look at the lookout for self category, again you have 592 compared to 96. So you just have more people in this not Hispanic category. You have to account for that, you have to adjust, and you have to percentage through the independent variable. Remember we always percentage through the independent variable and read through the dependent variable. So how you do this is just click on the cells button right here. And again we're going to percentage through the independent variable and read through the dependent variable. So here we have percentages. You have different options. You can do row, row, column, total. So we want to percentage through the independent variable and the independent variable is the column variable. It's Hispanic. So we check the column, hit continue, and then we hit OK down here at the bottom. And this should give us exactly what we're looking for. And now we can come down here and see that 49%, okay, now remember what this 49% is. This is the percent of people that identify as not Hispanic that said they view others as helpful. This is not the percent of helpful people that said they're not Hispanic. But if you would have put the percentage in the wrong way, if you would have percentage the rows, this number would have been that instead. This would have been the percentage of people that see others as helpful that identified as not Hispanic. How can you tell if you've messed up? We have a checkpoint just like we had with computing standard deviation. We got to a certain column, we wanted to see it sum to zero. And that means we've done it the right way. Here you want your independent variable to sum, I should say the categories of your independent variable to sum to 100. So here we have 49.9 plus 42 plus 8. So this is 50. 42 plus 8, and this is just about 50, so there's a little rounding going on. But this sums to 100, that's what we want to see. We have 32 plus 57 plus 10 
and some change here gives us pretty much uh, gives us right on one hundredth. Um, and there's some stuff going. They're rounding to the tenths, so it should be pretty close within within a tenth or a hundredth. So we know we percentage this the right way, and now we can compare across the categories of the dependent variable, across helpful. So 49.9% of those that identify as not Hispanic said they see others as helpful, compared to 32.3% of those who identified as Mexican or uh, Chicano. Uh, so there are fewer, there, there's a smaller percentage. And you can see that the flip side uh, bears out a little bit as well that more Mexican uh, Chicanos, people that identify as Mexican, Mexican American or Chicano, say that people are looking out for themselves, which is kind of the flip side. Here we do have one more category though and we can't ignore it uh, because in this case we don't just have the two categories like we saw in our, our lesson module. We have another category and actually among those that identify as Mexican, Chicano, more say it depends. So that helps us uh, tell the whole entire story. And you can speak about this in your assignment. You'll just talk about it exactly like that. You'll, you'll talk about the percentages you compared. Then in your conclusion, you'll say what that might mean. So here we might say something like uh, a little bit higher percentage of Mexican-Americans, Chicanos, said that they don't see others as helpful. But at the same time, more of them said it depends. So they have more of a situational viewpoint on it or, or say that it depends on, on context and it probably does. So you might also conclude that there's been a lot of negative sentiment toward Mexicans in the last five years, uh, a lot of angry sort of immigration rhetoric, anti-immigration rhetoric, and that could be part of why they don't feel like other people people are helpful because there is this talk about deportation and anti sort of anti-Mexican rhetoric in the media. So if you know anything like that you might mention that as well. And this is it. This gives you what you need for now. Next week we'll do a little bit more. We'll do some calculations, get some p-values, and it'll be even more fun. But hopefully everything goes well with the assignment, and good luck to you.